this paper is intended to provide clinicians a simple way to clarify patients and high risks of post-operative complications. In this study, we proposed a modification to type B aortic dissection. Firstly, divided into type B1, B2, and B3 based on the spatial position of thoracic tube and fossa lumens. Patients with type B2 and B3 aortic dissection have higher risks of adverse events after thoracic endovascular repair. Clinicians should be aware of this situation and should give more intensive follow-up to patients and higher risks. Dr. Yang Yangge is the first author of this paper. Professor Wei Guo is the corresponding author of this paper. I am Dr. Dan Rong, a resident of the Department of Vascular and Endovascular Surgery at the Chinese PR General Hospital of Beijing. The paper we presented is the 301 classification, a proposed modification to the Stanford Type B aortic dissection classification for thoracic endovascular aortic repair prognostication, and is going to appear in Mayo Clinic proceedings. Both the KM curves and the multiple wire Bocox regression indicated that the Type B2 and B3 dissections were associated with the risk of thoracic aortic expansion, abdominal aortic expansion, and comp composite outcome, which consists of persistent endolix distal sign, aortic rupture, re-intervention, and aortic related deaths. The 301 classification would therefore help improve risk stratification for type B aortic dissection when considering endovascular repair. In current clinic practice, we still use Stanford classification to determine if the patient should receive endovascular repair or open surgery. In, it works well. However, for those patients who received endovascular repair, we don't have a well-used criteria to identify patients who are at high risks of post-operative complications. We use one follow-up plan for all patients. That's not good enough. With our findings in this study, we can identify patients at higher risks before surgery. It could help us make individual treatment and a follow-up plan. This finding could also help patients understand the disease more. With the increased understanding, it may generate a better compliance of follow-up. Now that we have the ability to identify high-risk patients and plan to give them intensive treatment, Further studies must focus on assessing the safety and efficacy of standard, standard procedures combined with phospholomene specific endovascular procedures and on comparing the outcomes of combined procedures and standard procedures in patients with type B2 and B3 category dissections. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.